What's the real difference between HSV-1 and HSV-2? A lot of times we hear HSV-1 referred to as cold sores or fever blisters and HSV-2 referred to as genital herpes because most of the time that is where these viruses reside. However, a little known fact is up to 40% of the time genital herpes can be caused by HSV-1. This can happen from oral sex and from other means of transmission, but it's important to understand that these viruses are very similar. Even though they have an affinity for these specific areas of our body, they're very similar and should be treated the same way. Now, about 10% of people who have one will have the other. So for instance, if you get HSV-1, you'll also get HSV-2. But just because you have one doesn't mean you're any more likely to get another one as well. Both HSV-1 and HSV-2 are caused by a dip in your immune system. They're both something that when you get, they will stay with you, unfortunately, for the rest of your life. But most of the time, they're dormant in the base of your nerve cell. And when your immune system dips, that's when it tries to kind of bubble its head out. And if your immune system isn't strong enough to keep it down, then it will come and it will result in an outbreak. So what causes our immune systems to dip, to give the, the virus a chance to start reproducing and to actually form an outbreak? Well, unfortunately, things like stress, less sleep, an unhealthy diet, not working out, not getting enough sunlight, there's a lot of things that impact us. But the unfortunate thing is when we're stressed, you know, we have a big speech or a big presentation, we get stressed, that's the worst time to get an outbreak, but that's when your body naturally loses some of its functional immune fight. And that's when a lot of times it manifests itself. So you hear a lot of people who have HSV-1 or cold sores that will say they come at the very worst time because they're stressed before an important event and that's when it has a chance to replicate. Now there's a new technology called Luminance Red, which both can heal cold sores and genital herpes more quickly, but also prevent them from coming back. And the way that that works is your skin metabolizes this very specific wavelength of light at 100 milliwatts per centimeter squared, which is a very high power amount. And it turns this light energy into adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP. It's just basically cellular energy. Your mitochondria metabolizes this light into more energy so it can do what it naturally does, but more powerfully because it has more energy behind it. To learn more, you can take a look around the website, or if you're not there now, you can head to luminancered.com.